Hey guys, Tim here. So today I'm going to take you through benchmarking using Bioshock Infinite's built-in benchmarking tool. We are going to benchmark the GTX 670 DirectCU 2. Uh, we're using the ultra settings and 1920 by 1080 so that I can capture. So this is just an example. I will also run the other numbers later and add them to the description of this video. So what you'll see in this, this is a two, giga, uh, two gigabyte card, uh, it's the DirectCU2 from ASUS, is there is some tearing. Now granted this is at the Ultra uh, DX11 settings. And where I noticed most of the tearing, even also uh, playing the game on Ultra, was in scenes that had a lot of dark and light together. Um, so I'm not quite sure, it's not nearly as obvious when uh, you're just playing the game normally. So this might have something to do with the fact that I'm piping this out to the Aver Media card. However, you'll see the rest of the scenes, there's almost no tearing, there's almost no artifacts, they look absolutely gorgeous, but they're, they're all brighter scenes. So I'm not quite sure um, if that's just an artifact of the inline compression from the Aver Media card, but I also saw that on my screen, which is not passing through the Aver Media card. So I'm not quite sure. Like I said, when I was playing the game, I never saw that. There's something to be said for, you know, can you trust built in benchmarks like this? Like, are they going to tune the benchmarks for the specific games and my point of view is it's not the most realistic way to benchmark in the world, but it is easy for everybody to do. So our average FPS was 71.44, the min was 21.05, and the max was 274.48, both which came from that first scene. So take it for what you may, but that may be why we saw some stuff. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Look for a full review of this game, and we'll see you guys next time.